Hello viewers, welcome to our today's CRE class, CRE Form 4. And the topic of discussion today is marriage. Now, just to remind you that um, in, the, in, 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 the last, in the last in the last lesson, the previous lesson, we did, we did look at uh, uh, irresponsible and also responsible sexual behaviors. Then we, we also looked at the, 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 the types of irresponsible sexual behaviors, then the causes and also the effects. Now today we get to introduce a new topic which is marriage. Now at the end of the lesson we get to, to know what marriage is and also what is the Christian view on marriage. Welcome all and let us learn. Your tutor is Roger Michira. Now class, as I say, what we need to expect at the, at the end of the lesson, we do expect that we are able to discuss the Christian teaching about marriage and also the, 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 the secular view on marriage. But again, most importantly, you must first get to understand what marriage is. Now, what is marriage? This is a legal union, right? A, a legal union between a man and a woman, right? And let me insist that uh, there is no marriage between a man and a man, right? There is no marriage between female and female. That is non marriage, right? Now, Marriage, it must be a union between a man and a woman, a legal union. It can either be in church or be in the court, the, the, we call it the, 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 the civil marriage, or the traditional marriage. Now, can you look at the Christian teaching on marriage? Christian teaching on marriage, or as we all know, this is marriage that takes place in a church, right? The marriage that takes place in a church good meaning the, 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 the spouses that's the bride and the bridegroom they get to to formalize right they get to formalize their marriage in church for example for example you can clearly see you can clearly see we have a church there by the side of the cross good that's the, the church altar then you can see the, the the bride and also the bridegroom having a union right they have come together as husband and wife that is what we call christian marriage now what is the what, what is the teaching of uh, on christians about marriage the christian teaching on marriage now christians teach that marriage is sacred and uh, it is a divine institution what does it mean when, when 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 something is a divine institution a divine institution is something that has been ordained by god now we can date back marriage to adam and eve right remember when, when god created uh, adam right when he saw, he saw Adam was lonely, God created what? God created woman out of uh, Adam's rib. This showed that indeed they have united. They, they, they are one now, right? Remember husband was alone uh, and, 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 and now they were brought together, they were united, right? Now marriage, it should be permanent as God protects marriages. So in, in Christian view, there should not be divorce. Right, because marriage is permanent. Now, church teachers respect each other, meaning in a marriage we should get respect each other. And also, marriage is complete even without children. Marriage is complete even without children. Now, it is between a man, a male, and a female, as I had said earlier. So that is the Christian view on marriage, right? Meaning it should be permanent. It is obtained by God. It is a divine institution, right? God protects the marriage. Good. Church teachers respect of each other. The, 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 the husband, he should love your wife, right? And the wife, you should submit to your husband. Now, can I get to secular view? Secular view is the world today, right? The secular. Remember that those people who just, uh, they, they, they decide not to go to church and marry or in, uh, in, in the civil courts, all those, right? They just come, come and stay, secular. Good. Now, in the modern world, that in secular means the modern world, right? So in the modern world, some people choose not to marry for personal reasons. For example, education, money, right? Sometimes they, they would want to, 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 to live a spinster or a bachelor life, right? Husband and wife are equal. Monogamy is practiced for economic reasons. Yes, that is secular, right? If, if, if I don't have money, I can, I can opt for doing what? I can opt for... I can opt for, 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 for having one wife, but of course if I've got money, I can go as many wives as I can. 
Now, in some families, women are the heads of the family. Yeah, in, in, in secular, right? In some families, women are the heads of the family. Now, choosing a, a marriage partner is an individual act. <coughs> Sorry? Choosing a, a marriage par partner is an individual act, meaning it is not communal, not like in the traditional society. For you to get a wife, you must be... It must be chosen, you must be chosen for you must be given a wife, right? That's totally different in secular, right? I'm the one who chooses, I'm the one who chooses your wife, my wife, rather. Now, in modern society, the modern society values external beauty, financial status, and social status. We don't, we don't, we don't get to consider of, uh, the character, the behavior of someone, no. The external beauty, are you beautiful? Are you handsome? Good. What, what, what of your financial status? What of your social status in the society? What of your academic status? Yeah. So in the modern society, uh, it values external beauty, financial status, and social status. As a result, there is high rates of marriage, uh, separation, and also or rather divorce. Now, class, for our side bet, can we get to state why people mar marry? Why do people get to marry? And for our reference, get to use our reference that is right on your screen. And as always, this is a Limit TV, your favorite learning channel, where you get to watch and learn. Stay tuned for more CRE sessions. Thank you all for participating.